Club Superstars. Video number two. This is going to be foot placement, ball placement. And then after that, we've got the future videos. We'll start smacking them. So yeah, we'll go through. That should be pretty... I'll, I'll, I'll try and go through it all, like where, where to place and stuff. It's all going to be the David Ledbetter's way of way of teaching really, I mean loosely because I'm obviously a, a freshy hacker. So we're just trying to figure out if this, if this works for somebody who's totally new and like I say it's, it's worked pretty, very well for me now, can say n nothing bad really. I'll show you a, a couple of pages like the bits that I'm going to go through today. This should be pretty pr pr pretty straightforward and yeah, he'll discuss a little bit in the book and stuff that most things will feel weird at first when you do them. He's also talking to, right, like I said, the, the, the book's faults and fixes. So he's talking to people who, who currently play. So, I mean, with us being fresh, like new guys, it feels weird anyway. But like I say, just stick with it and it does actually work and it, it sends the ball straight and it's just, it works. That's all I can say. There's not much else to say other than it just works. So yeah, stick with me. Let's go with it. I'll go to a range, hopefully covered one because it is... The weather is like not great here today. It's very rainy and wet and stuff. So let's figure it out. We'll we'll get there. Okay, see you stars. I'll cut in back at the driving range. See you in a bit. I didn't really anticipate for the how loud the rain would be on the roof, so you could potentially not hear me. Yeah, stick with me. I'm gonna quickly show you a couple of pages that we're gonna go through. We're gonna go through foot placement, ball alignment, where we're gonna stand. Okay, the reason why I'm going through this now is because you're probably not gonna hear me when I'm on the tee box and when 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 we're driving. So yeah, so it's gonna be mainly foot alignment, ball placement, ball placement for beginner. So yeah, just watch me. Just follow along if you can't hear. Pop some comments down below if you think anything I could do with regards to maybe putting a mark on me or something. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the rain is picking up. It might sound really cool actually. Nice and relaxing later on into the video because I'll do less talking and just do more hitting. Okay, so let's stick with me. Yeah, let's warm up and stretch a little bit. Don't want to break nothing. So, basics. Yeah, you probably can't hear it, but Walk the shoulder, stretch your back up just a little bit. And it's still a bit tight, so a lot of stuff comes through your hips too, so. Yeah. Okay, remember you can also do the Club around your back, the club around the front. So you can do a little bit swell. Club around here. The doctor stance, which we're going to learn. Gonna try and get those hips moving. Get the shoulders moving. Can't put it around your back, but make sure you don't bend the club. You're just trying to reenact like a swing, really. So we'll do that. She so hasn't lead me to it. So yeah, just a couple of basics that we're gonna do. Like I said, stretch your back of your shoulders a little bit. Just bring the arms high. 
across them a little bit, warm up the shoulders. You could do a little bit of side stuff. Let's uh, loosen up here because of all the torsion. Try and release your hips a little bit. But yeah, so give me a couple more minutes, I'm going to do that. And yeah, then we'll start learning. Okay, so we're going to start off literally the basics with stance. I will show you foot placement, describe it a little bit. So, in this book, he will say to you that obviously the, the, more, the closer you have your feet together, you'll get a bit more stability and stuff like that. You want to be no further than when we move, for us hackers, we need to just be pretty much shoulder width apart. Just think of your feet shoulder width apart. That'll give you a good balance. The further you, the better you get, the way you work into different clubs, the feet position changes with regards to even drivers and stuff like that. The like pitch, like pitch wedge, sand wedge and stuff. Those things, your feet will come a little bit closer together. But we'll go through it. I'll show you a couple of clubs. Normally when we start practicing, we go from like your wedges and you get up towards your driver. We'll do that today. Maybe two or three balls on each. And yeah, you'll see how my feet change slightly. Like I say, pop some comments down below if you think there's any advice for me. Like I say, we're hackers, hackers teaching hackers, you know, but we were doing the David Ledbetter's bit, so it should be good. But yeah, we'll, we'll start with basics. I'll show you my feet now, talk you through a little bit, hopefully you can hear. Okay, so yeah, so. I don't, he'll tell you in this video to turn your, if you knew, sort of turn your feet slightly out. I don't, I normally keep my feet, my feet quite straight. And that's me. I'll sort of, yeah, that, 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 that'll be it for most of my iron shots. That shoulder width apart, you can't see my shoulders now, but I sort of describe it as an, if you do a little bit of weightlifting, it's a little bit like preparing yourself for a, for, for a squat, really. That, that, that's the best way I'd pretty much describe it, because you force stability and stuff like that with regards to weight, weightlifting bits. You'll have your feet, your feet and stuff directly below your knees and then your, your shoulders the when, when you set up for sort of power stuff. And I pretty much use the same principles and I, probably that's why I got my swing or my stance okay pretty much because I just use the principles of, of doing the, the squat and keeping yourself powerful for that. So I, I use the same principles for this. Again, I'm going to show you a couple of different angles with me setting up and, and with my feet so you can see my shoulders and stuff hopefully. A little bit of red carpet back here that acts as a pretty good um, visual aid, so I'm actually going to use this. Imaginary, imaginary setup. Shoulders. That's your shoulder at the top. That's your standard basis. You would. Depending on the shot that you set, so depending on the shot you're doing, you're doing right, you would step probably a little bit wider. And then if you're hitting shorter clubs, you're going to lean over, you're going to legs in a little bit, you get closer. Okay, so that's not that you're getting the same if you do, maybe open them, but no, just head straight, everything's going to Okay, so that's us. So as you saw there, we just did basic feet positioning. I really started to move my body over slightly forward and stuff. That's just a habit due to practicing. So now I'm going to show you how to set up your stance, how to have your back positioned correctly and stuff like that. So I probably the reason I picked this up quite quickly is because I treated it as if I'm doing a squat. So if you do any gym or any stuff like that, I set this up like I would do a squat. So it's feet underneath my shoulders. Just for the stability and the power and, and straight directly underneath your knees and then i have you'll say straighten your back and get your head up and stick your butt out now naturally when you stick your butt out i think you get a slight arch in your back anyway it's just a normal normal squatting thing so yeah we're, we're going to be doing that i'll do it sideways it's pretty cool if your range has like a mirror or something that you can see or somebody can record you or record yourself and watch yourself back it's the only way you, i think you can improve in my opinion so now that's what we're going to do. You'll see me change angles myself, move around a little bit. Might change some camera angles, but just stick with me. If you can't hear me, just copy me, okay? Yeah, 
So the idea is that you pinch my shoulder blades back together. So you back and slightly here. Get my other chest position on it. And then my chest is what's up down there. And what we do, relax your hand back to the left. Loose, 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 just relax. So I do, I cross my arms slightly. So the reason I cross my arms is it sort of mimics you holding the club in my opinion. So the different clubs will, re will require different foot feet placement, but you'll see the slight changes that I'll make in my lift a couple more angles of you watching me doing the setup and then let's go smack some balls. Let me show you some stuff from the back. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so the reason I'm putting a club on the floor is so that I can it teaches you how to set your feet up properly for the target. Okay, so we're putting this so you would aim you would aim this towards the target. I should put the club face that way. So we don't end up destroying the golf club. <coughs> we'll bring it back actually because we need it to just put up this nicely. <coughs> He talks about like the, the rail, like thinking as if you're on like a railway tracks, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Let's bring that for the actually see this. Okay, so. Now we can, when we place the ball, it's going to be somewhere around here, like just sort of under your under your armpit, really, like just inside of your left foot. Let's put it where he thinks it. Normally, you would think, oh, bang in the middle is right. That's not right. Not for when you knew, anyway. So maybe around here. So I'd say, so armpit, maybe just inside this foot, about there, basically. That's what. That's where you want the, where you want the ball. Make sure your feet are correct. Crips are right. So 
I draw straight back, and I'm thinking as if, yeah, this is on my railway, this is on the railway track and it's dead straight. And there we go. And that is just gone, so. straight away. So that I am using a wedge. Let my feet will come closer because the shaft is shorter and I need to be close to the ball basically. I'll show you this from the top view too. Let's move the ball up there. Let's do a practice swing. Where do you think we want it, guys? <coughs> just inside the, just inside the left. Now, this is a wedge. And you see my feet will come a lot closer. Like at this crop. Grip it here. Get practice. With the wedge, you don't really need to go in that aggressively on it, to be honest. So it's quite a nice one to practice with. It's just a little bit more lent over and stuff, but with regards to the speed and the power you need to use, it's not you don't well you don't need to use much to be honest. You don't really need to full backswing forward and stuff when you when you're starting out. Okay, so here we go. Wanna hopefully you can see that and hit a time. Now this one, the ball will be a little bit further away from me because the shaft's, the shaft's longer. But still want it underneath my armpit and stuff like that. We still want to keep practicing that. Club, let's aim this up to where I want to be hitting. You, if you, these, this club that I put on the floor is just like a visual aid to help you when you're a beginner. You, a lot of people still do use them. You, just to, just to really like, just to shore up your stance and make sure that you're hitting those shots consistently and stuff like that. So I, I use it, it's, it's pretty cool. Some people think it's over the top and stuff, but just regards to how new I am and how I think I play, okay, it's just on the driving range, it's all on this mat, it doesn't really mean much, but I'm pretty consistent, which is, I think, the start of a good, good golfing sort of, wouldn't say career, but yeah, it'd be a, yeah, it'd be a, be a good, good start of the golfing thing, so yeah, let's figure it out. You want to also make sure you're watching this face, right? I've just knocked off the board. I should have actually shown you that and see where I strike the ball. It's all of them are pretty much here, so it's a sweet spot of the club, to be honest. So you want to have the face straight. Don't think I actually said that properly. Should have really touched on that. Because the thing is, if you have it like open like this, or closed like this, it starts to do things like hooking and drawing the ball, which you'll get to later. If you can keep it pretty straight and hit it consistently at the proper place of the club, you should be fine. Did it leave something? Oh, there we go, see? Because these balls, they leave 
they leave quite a lot of marks to be honest. So there we go. I'm going to just keep the ball in shot so you guys can see. Copy, follow along at home. Always guys, regrip, 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 practice shot, regrip, practice shot. Yeah. Setting up your so now we're going to do the driver bit. So setting up your tee shot is normally you know, like well, sorry, teeing up for the driver is this, this bit's pretty important because you can really muller the ball. I'm sort of a, me, a medium, medium size one, so let's try and show you what I mean. Okay, so this is where when you start using the driver, the pain the pain begins. Okay, so I'm, I'm here normally. It depends on your attack angle and your approach to it, but go, go, go medium because you don't know what you're doing yet. You, you're new. If, if, if you're good, then we need you to we need you to practice with the way you place yourself before your shot. But if you're like me and you're new, just go medium because then you can work your way either way. So yeah, I'm go medium. You can see sort of sort of how far it sits off the off the bottom. Yeah, this is this is my my, my my better attack angle. It's going to be harder for us to record this meeting off of the driver just because of the rain and stuff. But we'll try and figure out a position for it somewhere. Hit the one a little bit more outside, not where you wanted to. Which isn't far off the mountain.
You guys don't mind how much time dying the process of this. <laughs> Big Bertha to eat the camera. Yeah, don't do this quick succession of different clubs back to forth and stuff. It's not the way to do it. Do it from where it upwards to driver and then go home. I'm just doing this for you guys. To show you the difference in feet placement, where I'm positioning the club, how I come forwards and backwards. That's all this is for. We're on a nine. Hopefully you guys can see the difference, the way I'm bringing my feet in and out and the way the ball position changes slightly. Hopefully I'm picking up the angles. Now let's just show you guys a couple of me just drilling them. There we go, so that's, that's us in our swing. Something I didn't mention was to, you 
drop your right side slightly, so you drop your right hip and your right shoulder ever so slightly, you obviously raise your left, well, well, by raising your left, your left shoulder and your left hip a little bit, you obviously drop your right side. That is something that, that David better does so, to do, which I just do naturally now, didn't mention it. So a couple of things to mention is, yeah, work your way up from your wedges up towards your drivers. If you've got a second hand set of clubs, make sure they're relatively the correct length. But you know, we're nitpicking here. But if you, literally, if the clubs are too long, you're going to really struggle to get your basics right. Yeah, hope, hopefully, it was useful to you. We've got a couple of angles, different stuff. Hopefully, the foot position is, is all that we really cared about today. And then getting your swing. And then you'll, you, <laughs> the swing will slowly progress. We'll show you little tips and tricks on how to meet the ball again. You know, when you do like your back swing and stuff like that. It'll be pretty cool. We'll go through those. Yeah, now, now, now the journey will really begin because now you can hopefully smack a ball. If you can get these little basics right, you're going to start smacking the ball and then the fun really begins. Okay, so yeah, stick with me guys, stick with me on my journey. Enjoy you guys subscribing, liking, commenting, do whatever you need to do. Superstars, yeah, just keep happy over and out.